so in this lecture we are going to cover a new chapter work and energy so first we will cover in this video the work so there are two works the first one which comes from english and the second one which comes from physics so what is the difference between these two words the first one which comes from english and the other which comes from physics so the basic difference is in the first as you can see this human is standing and he is holding some weight in his hand and standing at the same place and after some time he will get tired and the sweat is coming from his body and he will get tired so he will must say that he is tired right now he has done a lot of work but according to physics this human is doing no work because why why he is doing no work we will understand this by going to the physics section in this this person is standing and trying to push this box but the box is not moving now in this case this person is doing no work because there is no displacement the force is apl being applied but there is no displacement no noticed so this is the reason why this person is not doing any work and in the second figure you can see this person is applying force and the box is moving so in this case the force is also being applied and the box is also showing some displacement so that's why it's there is work is being done so simply we can say in physics if force is being applied and the displacement is also noticed then only we can say that work is done now let's move on to next page अब हम ये जानते हैं कि वर्क हो रहा है तो हमें ये भी जानना होगा कि आखिर कितना वर्क हो रहा है सो फॉर दिस वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट फ्यू टॉपिक्स बिफोर लर्निंग हाउ टू फाइंड द वर्क हाउ मच वर्क इज बीइंग डन सो फर्स्ट इज फोर्स सेकंड इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड थर्ड थर्ड इज वर्क सो द थर्ड वन द वर्क वी हैव डन इन द प्रीवियस फ्यू मिनट अगो and the force you the force you must have done in chapter 2 of physics in class 9th only and displacement you have you must have done in first chapter i guess a 9th class first chapter physics in motion so these three topics you know so if you know these three topics then you can find how much work is being done so for work we have a formula work is equals to force into displacement okay so f into and displacement is denoted by s so f into s is equals to work and the unit of work is joule it is denoted by a uh, capital j joule now uh, we know how to find work but in some cases in question there is only mass is given the force is not given so for this we have to find the force first so find to find the force we need to apply this formula f is equals to ma or mg okay so what happens in this why i am saying ma or mg because a is acceleration and g is also acceleration but g denotes the acceleration due to gravity you must have read this read about all okay so let's move on to practice question a potter lifts a bag try to visualize visualize it a potter lifts a bag of 15 kg from the ground and puts it on his head which is i think uh, 1.5 meter above from the ground now the question is calculate the work done okay so how we can calculate the work first we will write the points which are given m is equals to 15 kg s is equals to s means dip, displacement so f s is equals to 1.5 meter and g is equals to g is acceleration due to gravity 
because here is a, a force is being applied by the gravity because it's going up you must have read about this in gravity chapter also so we have noted these three points now directly we can't find work because we don't know what is the force being applied here so for the force we have to find first it the force so f is equals to m into g uh, here the formula is written so f is equals to m into g m is 15 kg g is 10 which is uh, like it's a constant uh, it doesn't change and if you go more specific in it you will get that it's not actually 9 uh, sorry it's not actually 10 it's 9.8 but if uh, you are in 9th class so you have to take it as 10 only so 15 into 10 is equals to 150 and force is uh, force unit is newton so it will be 150 newton now work now we can find the work because we have force we have displacement so we can find the work so what is work force into displacement so it will be 150 newton which is force here we, we have found it and s is displacement which is 1.5 above the ground so when we will multiply it we will get to know that 225 joule is work done okay so it's very simple if you will try some more question you will get to know how it's all being done so this is the end of this lecture they will meet in the next section covering some more topics which is energy so take care